Attention traders, a raid is about to start for the new Articuno 6-inch articulated figure by Jazzwares. This is now the second figure released by Jazzwares in the new Pokemon Select articulated figure line. Articuno found at my local Target out here in Southern California. The price point was $19.99. This is essentially the first legendary Pokemon that we have in articulated form and very appropriate that they chose Articuno, the very first legendary bird. As we venture forth to the back of the packaging, you can see the rest of the figures announced in this wave. We have already reviewed Charizard, we have Articuno on deck, and hopefully we see Greninja and Rayquaza shortly. Trainers, here is Articuno out of the packaging, and I am geeking out. I cannot believe how big this bird is, and for only $20. All right, let's get right into this with some close-ups. Right off the bat, you can see she has a huge wingspan, multiple points of articulation there. Looking at the front of her face, some great paint applications applied to there, including the beak. We have some chest fluffies with a little bit of sculpting throughout. Moving down to her talons, she has four talents with a hind claw in the back each of them are articulated and then looking at the back of this big luxurious bird we have that extremely articulated bendable tail i gotta say besides this being the first articulated legendary bird that we have a huge attraction goes out to this tail multiple bendable points of articulation here they could not have done this tail any better it is absolutely beautiful like Charizard, Articuno also comes with a multi-articulated stand. We have points of articulation here at the base plate and then higher up where the figure actually sits. We're going to make our way to the wing where it meets the body. You can see there is a ball and socket joint there. So we can take this and rotate all the way around. Huge articulation there. We also have another joint right here where the wing starts. And you can see we have flexion moving backwards. And we can also take this flexion and then move it forward as well. Moving to the middle of the wing, we have one more joint of articulation. We can hyper extend the wing back. That is about as far backwards as that wing can go. We can also flex this wing forward and she has a little bit of a greater range of motion as we flex it forward. Looking at the legs where the drumstick meets the body, we can flex this leg. Should be able to do 360 degrees all the way around. From there, we have backwards knees, so we can flex a great deal moving forward, and then we can also have some flexion moving backwards without moving the drumstick. That's about as far back hyperextension as that leg can go. Great range of motion and articulation there. You can see the double joints. There is no adduction or abduction at the thigh or rotation here at the knees, so your major articulation is going to be at the joint of the thigh and then also at the double knees. Making our way to the top of the foot, we have rotation all the way around, and each and every one of those talons is articulated. A small detail, but it makes a huge difference. The team over at Jazzwares really went all out on this figure. Now, we have flexion at the hind claw coming all the way forward so we can really clasp anything. We have don't really have any hyperextension moving backwards and each and every one of these talons moves forward. So we can really grip onto like a branch or some sort of like water Pokemon. Uh, that's just, that's freaking awesome. And now for the moment, I think y'all been waiting for the articulation in the tail. Again, this is a multi-articulated tail. So it's like a rubberized um, type of, of plastic coating over what is going to be like metal wires within the tail. So that is what's going to give us all sorts of articulation throughout. We can bend this all different ways and make this tail stand in any position that we really want it to. Here at the base of the tail, there's no rotation. I mean, you can turn the wire and like spin it all the way around if you wanted to, but there's no extra type of rotation that'll allow that tail to, to spin in like a 360 uh, freely. But you can still bend this tail all the way around and morph it to anything that you really want it to. Uh, one of my favorite things I love about this tail is this is a completely different texture than anything else on the rest of this body. So they had to blend and match the color scheme to its true color tones of Articuno with two different materials and they did a great job of blending the two together. So now we'll do a brief example of how compact I could really make this tail. And uh, again, this is a great material that isn't doesn't feel like the wire is going to just like burst out of it. So I'm going to try to make like kind of like an accordion, I guess. 
bring that as close together as we have it. So that's freaking awesome. I mean, look at that. And it, it just, it stays there. It doesn't, you know, like loosen up or anything like that. And then let's go straight. Let's see how straight we can get this tail. Okay, and that is as straight as we can basically get the tail, but we can really just move this tail all different areas. And you know, this doesn't feel like it's gonna come out from the base of the tail. Like if I start bending it from here, I don't feel like that this is just going to pop out. I feel like there's there's enough lead inside the body to prevent that from happening. So this is again, just a great sculpt on this. I mean, they knocked this out of the park with this tail, beautiful. Now, because Articuno is such a back heavy bird with that tail, you're going to have some issues trying to get Articuno to stand in a more of a proper seated position, like if it's in a nest or something like that. But you can maneuver the tail just right to be able to prop Articuno to sit a little bit more proper. It just takes a little bit of, of working with uh, the tail. But again, that's why they included this uh, stand to be able to manipulate like Articuno is flying through the air or perched up on something. Okay, now I'd like to do some measurements to kind of see what we're working with here. So if I stood Articuno as tall as I could get it, talons all the way stretched out to the top of the headdress, we are looking at, let's see here, about five and three fourths inches. That's if I got it to stand as tall as possible, which this is a six inch figure, 112 scale. Um, that matches up pretty well because Pokedex reads Articuno as five seven. Now looking at this luxurious wingspan, so stretching these wings out as far as I could get them from tip to tip. Let's see, we are looking at, geez, over a foot long. We are looking at a foot and it looks like a foot and a half inches long as far as the wingspan goes, incredible. And finally, we'll look at the tail, stretching it out as far as I could get it from the base of the body to the tip of the tail. It looks like we are about, nine and a quarter inches long fantastic now let's do some comparisons we'll put charizard in our previous pokemon select figure which we reviewed on the channel they stand up pretty well side by side i believe charizard is a little bit taller in figure form but either way they look great standing side by side here you can see just how big Articuno's wings are compared to Charizard, stretched out all the way, wingspan basically by a half on each side longer than charizard crazy and well, since I don't have any previous Articuno figures to really compare Articuno to, we'll throw in just for fun a 3.75 inch scale World of Halo Master Chief and a 112 scale 6 inch the Black Series Stormtrooper. Okay, my final thoughts on this figure, a $19.99 price point hitting major retailers right now. Found this at my local Target out in Southern California. I am in love with this figure. It is a freaking beast. From toe to tail to head, it is absolutely amazing. For the first time that they've done an, a highly articulated legendary Pokemon, legendary bird Articuno, they really set the bar high on this figure. I honestly would feel pretty nitpicky if I started throwing out any real gripes out there. There isn't much not to love about this figure, but if I had to choose anything, I would say maybe more articulation here at the head where we can actually bend the head backwards a little bit. So if I had Articuno flying straight forward, I could have Articuno looking straight in front instead of just down. Uh, but that's really my only true gripe that I really have to say about this figure. For a $19.99 price point, I mean, this is a no-brainer. Add this to your shelf ASAP. With the immense articulation at the tail moving to the individual articulated talons to the wings, this Articuno figure is a no-brainer. Once you see this in person, I guarantee you're going to be geeking out. Again, $19.99 price point hitting major retailers right now. Found this at Target in Southern California. But that's it, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check me out on Instagram. My name is Nostalgic Adam, all one word, where I do toy photography, toy videos, toy hunts, and all things toy related. Link in the description below, and I will see y'all in the next video.